What do you do if you're secretly strong? You act weak only to reveal your true strength when necessary. Follow the adventure of our male protagonist as he gets reincarnated to another world, only to become stronger than he already is and establishes the Shadow Garden, a group whose sole purpose is to combat the enigmatic cult of the Great Demon, an organization born out of our character's imagination. Hey there, anime lovers. Welcome to the anime of life. Today, I shall recap episode one of The Eminence in Shadow. Our main protagonist of the story has two identities. Superficially, he is a poor student in the eyes of his classmates, but secretly he is a super fighter, saving the kidnapped school beauty. And then the powerful special forces are no match for him. Though very strong, he does not want to reveal his identity to be a superhero or a big devil. Instead, he enjoys being unnoticed like a shadow, hiding in the darkness to explore the limits of human power. Later, he travels to the other world as he wishes. He rules the Shadow Garden, composed of a group of beauties, becoming the leader of the shadow hidden in the darkness. The story begins with Princess Akane being woken up by the alarm clock. She goes to take a hot bath and looks at herself in the mirror with a serious expression as if she is hiding some secrets. After being taken to school by the driver, Akane immediately puts on a smile. As the most popular girl in school, she draws everyone's attention except for her deskmate, Shadow, who is our main protagonist. He is a poor student in others' eyes, but just such a paltry one gives no interest in the prettiest girl Akane. They've been deskmates for three months, but he doesn't even remember her name. Akane tells Shadow her name over and over again, but Shadow never calls her name correctly. Since Shadow always ignores her, Akane suspects that he must have a huge secret that takes up all his attention, and that's why he gives no concern to the most popular girl in school. Though Akane is a bit upset about it, she never shows her true emotions in public. With a distinguished family background and an image-oriented identity as an actress, Akane always keeps a smile on her face whether she is happy or not, trying to make herself an easy-going good student. However, peaceful life doesn't last long. One day after school, Akane finds her driver neither shows up nor answers the phone call, so she decides to walk home alone. When she passes by a deserted road, she encounters a strong man who doesn't seem like a good one. She immediately walks away but gets blocked by the man's companion. Before she faints and struggling, she seems to see her deskmate, Shadow. By the time Akane wakes up, she has been locked up. The strong man and his accomplice killed her driver and kidnapped her. The thugs seem to do it for money, but actually they are hired to take revenge on Akane's father. At this moment, Shadow is outside the door. This ordinary student takes out his backpack which contains his disguises to hide his identity. The strong man's accomplice casts greedy eyes on the pretty girl Akane. As he is about to do something, Shadow shows up with a headgear to cover his face. The air around him becomes terrifying. Shadow knocks off the opponent's pistol, and after a set of consecutive attacks, he wins easily. Next, it is the turn of the strong man. The thug throws away his pistol even though he has seen Shadow's strengths, which means he is very confident in his own. As a veteran, the strong man is much more difficult to deal with, hurting Shadow in his first move. But the injury doesn't frighten Shadow. Instead, he gets excited because he hasn't met a tough opponent for a long time. The situation is immediately reversed as Shadow gets serious. The strong man's arm is badly injured, so he can only defend himself without being able to make any counterattack. His arrogant attitude just disappeared, and he desperately tries to pick up the pistol, which is his last chance. But Shadow's movements are amazingly fast, with a set of which he defeats the strong man completely. Seeing Shadow approaching, Akane is very scared that the man may kill her as well. Luckily, he just cuts the rope for her. To not reveal his identity, Shadow then hides, wondering if he can find stronger opponents somewhere else. After that, Akane's father pulls strings to suppress the kidnapping because he doesn't want her daughter to be exposed to the public because of such an event, and the police never figure out who saved Akane. When Akane returns to school, Shadow calls her name correctly, which surprises Akane. But what she doesn't expect is that this is the last time they see each other. Soon after, a traffic accident is broadcast on TV, and the deceased turns out to be our protagonist, Shadow. What follows is a memory of Shadow. He was different from other children when he was little. When everyone dreamed of becoming a superhero or even an evil villain, Shadow's dream was to become an unnoticed but powerful man. But when he grows up, 
Shadow is disappointed to find that no matter how strong he is, he can't have supernatural powers like the heroes in novels. Even if he defeats a heavily armed army, he can't defend against a nuclear bomb. At the last moment, when Shadow's consciousness dissipates, he erupts with a cry of reluctance in his heart. He wants to surpass the limits of human power to become the strongest. Then, Shadow spawns in another world. In a world completely different from Earth, Shadow's dream comes true. There are various species except for humans, as well as magic and swordplay far beyond the Earth's limits. Shadow establishes an organization named Shadow Garden, the members of which are seven beautiful girls from different species who are loyal to Shadow. In this other world, Shadow finally achieves his dream. The powerful magic he obtains is a supernatural power that human technology can't compete with. He can better disguise himself while challenging other powerful creatures in this world. Shadow is building his empire hidden in darkness. And that concludes episode one of The Eminence in Shadow. This episode shows how overpowered our main protagonist is. In a world where we admire superheroes, these caped crusaders don't need the public's worship. Our main protagonist doesn't want recognition. He just wishes to pursue the limits of power and become the most powerful person in the world. His dream is finally coming true. If you haven't already, watch some of our other videos. We've left an all-in-one playlist of The Eminence of Shadow in the description below where you can watch all episode recaps. Express your thoughts in the comments. What did you think about The Eminence in Shadow? Also, subscribe to the channel and leave a like on this video. Don't forget to support us on Patreon so we can deliver more content like this and beyond. With that, anime lovers, see you later.